yourself. Yeah. You're inflatable. Oh, uh, yay! functions like one big family. Friends. Family and friends are just like everything on the street. People really do care about each other. We're all just here to support each other and bring joy into each other's lives. We found that through COVID, our street came together. Zorn's mom died from COVID. Within 24 hours, people were knocking on our door. We were there for each other through some very hard um, passings that we had. My husband was diagnosed with a brain tumor on Valentine's Day, and he lived for six months after that. But the street was wonderful to him. A celebration of life for five months. We celebrate all of the milestones. Birthdays, new arrivals. Moving here right away, it was very welcoming. And since that day we moved in, it hasn't stopped. We shovel driveways together, we cut grass together, we drink coffee together. <laughs> a couple down the street came and shoveled the driveway. Other guys came and put lights up on the house for Christmas, so that was really special that they would kind of look after me. That's kind of the Canadian way. Yeah. It's a great human thing to do. You feel nice helping people. It's amazing that Tim's just recognized the uniqueness of our street, how much we love each other, and just how Canadian we are, really. This is the closest thing to family that we've got up here. And to me, the Bears represent the cohesive community that we are. This street is Tim saying, hey, there's goodness and happiness and hope for the future. We are going to visit the grand prize winners. It's our opportunity to give back to the community. Well, I think Tim's has been wonderful to do this. Events like this bring us together. It's very heartwarming feeling. This is absolutely incredible, far more than what we expected, and we just thank Tim so much. Thank you very much. Being spoiled. Thanks very much. Well, Thanks enjoy. so much. No problem. There is nothing better than living on this street. We're family, and I love you guys. I'm sorry. Humanity doesn't exist, it thrives. I think right now is a time that everyone needs to know that there's places like this all over the world that's thriving on the love and the support of everyone else.